Welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, we are going to learn about the AES algorithm. AES stands for Advanced Encryption Standard. In the previous video, we have learned about DES algorithm, right, which is Data Encryption Standard. Uh, so, in this video, we are going to learn how AES algorithm will work and what are the how many rounds we have in each round, what happens, and everything we are going to learn in this video. Okay, got it? So, make sure that you watch the video till the end so that you can understand it more clearly. So, let's get started. It has an input array, it has a state array and a key array. I'll explain you what input array, state array and key array are and I will uh, explain, uh, show you the diagram as well. And as we already know, this is a block cipher algorithm. Under block cipher, we have DES, AES, Blowfish, IDEA, IDEA algorithm and RC5 algorithm and so on, right? So here, in this video, we are going to learn about AES and the next video about Blowfish and then about RC5, then about IDEA and all, okay? So first, what it has it has an array it has a state array and it has a key input array state array and a key array as I said so I'll show you what is input array what is yeah so this is the input array input array has 4 into 4 cells it has 4 cells and uh, total 16 cells it has each cell is equal to 1 byte or you can also say it as 8 bits okay so each cell is equal to 8 bits total how many cells you have you have in total of 16 cells right so that will be equal to 16 into 8 which is 128 got it so what is the size of the input in case of what is the size of the plain text in case of AES algorithm it is 128 bits got it done now and we, you can also represent it in terms of words, four words, you have four words and the size of each word will be equal to 32 bits. Again, four into 32 will give you 128. Okay. Now, why we have to use this input array? The plain text, whatever plain text we are having, that plain text is represented in this input array. Okay. So, in each cell you'll have 16, six, uh, sorry, in each cell you'll have 8, 8, 8 like that, total 16 into 8 which is equal to 128 all the 128 bits will be stored in this in, in in this input array 8 bits in each cell got it so this is about the input array and what is the second one we have that is the state array right i'll show you what state array is so basically this state array is used to store all the intermediate st uh, states so what do you mean by intermediate states uh, simply we can say when we are performing rounds as I said we have 10 rounds right and in each and every round also you'll have three to four additional steps right so uh, whenever you're performing some operations in those additional steps or between the rounds whatever input see here you have total of 10 rounds right here you're giving the plain text and here you're getting the cipher text whatever you're getting in this round one in round two and round uh, three four whatever it is we, we are not bothered about that right this state array is used to store that intermediate states intermediate results are used um, can be stored in this state array right and those results will be stored in the form of four words okay so here each word this is zeroth word first word second word third word got it no sorry i'm sorry this this is zeroth word first word second word and third word so here s0 comma 0 means this first zero will represent the byte and the second zero will represent the word here also first will represent byte and the second will represent the word okay first byte of zeroth word zeroth byte of zeroth word second byte of zeroth word zeroth byte of first word like that first one represents the byte second one represents the word so in this way you are using the state array in order to store the intermediate results got it and done with the state array also so input array done state array done and we have to learn what is key array now so actually key array how many words you have in this um, you know AES algorithm as I said in the beginning we have four words right but those four words are expanded into 44 words why because each round will take four words how many total rounds we have in AES algorithm we have total of 10 rounds right so each round will take up four words so 10 into 4 will give you 40 and you'll have an additional round which is called as the add round key that you will uh, I will explain in detail when I explain this got it so for that additionally four words you require so total of 40 plus 4 it is total 44 words so the four words are expanded into total of 44 words okay and the expanded one looks like this see actually we have four words and those four are expanded into 
44 got it here each what is this each column will represent one word i am really confused about column and row word i'm sorry so here each column will represent one word and these four words are expanded into total of 44 words and i also already told you why we need 44 words right so this is the key array we have the input array here we have the input array next we have the state array and then we have the key array got it so these are the different types of arrays we have and now let us see how the process goes on so i'm going to i explain both encryption and decryption or else only encryption if i explain also you can easily understand the decryption since it is the reverse process of the um, you know encryption got it so here first you will be sending 128 bit plain text into the first step that is the add round key step okay here you will be sending it into add round key and what is the input for this 128 bit plain text and also words w0 w1 w2 w3 total four words for each and every round you will be giving four words as i already said in the beginning right so here you have from w0 to w43 total of 44 words and for this you are giving four for this you are giving four so here add round you will have total of 10 rounds each round will take up four words so total 44 along with add round key and then finally you will be getting the 128 bit cipher text okay this is the process of encryption as you know encryption is nothing but what the conversion of plain text to cipher text right so this is how encryption will happen now here on this side what happens here decryption will happen in decryption what will happen cipher text is converted into plain text right so here it started with add round key here decryption process also will start with add round key but here we are going from round 1 to round 10 but here we go from round like yeah the same process but here you'll get round 10 here got it don't get confused so this is how uh, AES algorithm will work now what will happen in each and every round got let us see that number of rounds 10 you'll have total of 10 rounds for encryption and decryption each for encryption 10 rounds for decryption 10 rounds and in each round we have four steps okay so substitute bytes is the first one shift rows is the second one again in this shift rows you'll be doing the left circular shift only like how we did in the des algorithm the same we will do here left circular shift is done and the third is mix columns and the fourth is add round key okay and this mix columns you don't have it in round 10 in round 10 you have only three steps substitute bytes shift rows add round key only these three you will have you will not have the mix column step in the round 10 only three and what you will do in add round key it is very simple you will be performing the xor operation between the plain text and the key so first you have the plain text right in case of encryption here you have the plain text and you have the key as well so you will be performing the xor operation between these two got it and here in case of decryption what we will do in add round key xor operation will be performed between this key and the cipher text got it that is what happens in the add round key so this is all about the aes algorithm the main thing that you have to remember it is it has an input array state array and a key array right you have to first write about all of them and then you need to draw this diagram explaining the process and then you need to uh, elaborate it more like what happens in each and every round and all you have to elaborate it right this is all about the aes algorithm in the next video let us learn about the d um, sorry blowfish algorithm and if you want me to make videos on any other topic or any other subject just let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to make it for sure and um, thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up soon the next coming video with another topic